In this video, we're going to learn how to include a PHP file inside another PHP file. So what do we mean by including a file inside another file? Imagine that you need to build many PHP pages and all of them, they include the same header. So rather than um, writing the uh, code for the header in each of those files, you can just um, create a um, header.php file and include that uh, file inside the other PHP pages. Okay? So um, in our example, we are going to create a header and include it in our file and we're going to also create a footer and include it in our file. So I've already created a blank page footer and another blank page header. So we're going to write some PHP code inside these two files and then we're going to include those files inside our file. All right. Okay, so let's start with the header. So we're going to have uh, in the header, we're just going to have a navbar. So if you uh, go to your bootstrap folder and just uh, import a navbar from there. Okay, so you can just copy this navbar, okay, from here. And then you can paste it inside the um, header, okay? So now uh, what we're going to do, we're going to include this uh, header.php inside our file, okay? Okay, so to do that, we're going to write some PHP code at the beginning of the body. Let's write our PHP tag. Okay, and now we're going to use the um, function um, include. Okay, so if you uh, explore this function, okay, there are no docs for it. But anyway, so this function is going to uh, include um, the file um, inside um, our uh, our file here. So we are going to um, say the location of our file in double quotes. We don't need parentheses for the include function. So our file is in the same workspace, so we're just going to write its name. It's header.php. Okay. So now if we refresh the page, we can see that we've got our navbar uh, at the beginning of the page. All right. Okay, so let's um, change the styling a little bit so that we have some gap between the navbar and um, the, um, the div. So let's change the name of the uh, class contacts form to um, containing div, for example. Okay, and let's add more margin there. So rather than 50, we're going to go 400. So if we refresh, that looks better. Okay, so now we're done with our uh, header. So we created a header.php file and we have included it inside our file using the include function. Now we're going to do the same with the um, footer. Okay. But before we create the footer or we fill the footer file, we're just going to write the same PHP code inside our file. And this time we're going to write it right at the end. Okay. And this time we want to include um, footer.php. Okay. So if you refresh the page, nothing will happen because the footer.php uh, file is empty. But now let's go to the to this file and and fill it with some code. Okay, so we're going to create a bootstrap footer. Okay, so we're going to use the um, footer tag to create our uh, footer. Okay, and we're going to give it a class footer. And then inside the footer tag, we're going to have a container. Okay, and then we're going to place a paragraph inside the container. 
So it's, it's a div class container. And we're having a paragraph inside. Okay, so um, so let's have some text in the paragraph. And see how this appears. Okay, so at the moment, um, we just see our footer there. It's not um, uh, the best footer we can have, but we're gonna add some styling in a little bit. Okay, just so regarding text, um, let's have a uh, let's have some copyright text. So we're gonna write some PHP code for that. Okay, because we're gonna need uh, today's. Um, uh, dates or today's uh, the current year. So we're going to get the current year using uh, the uh, date uh, function in a PHP. Okay, so let's write our PHP tag. Okay. Okay, and let's define a variable today where we're going to store the current year. Okay, so to get the current year, we're going to use the date function and we're going to use only one parameter for the format and since we want only the year we're going to use only the letter y capital y for the full year okay and then we are going to uh, echo uh, um, copyright and then we need the um, copyright symbol we're going to use the entity corresponding to the copyright and then we're gonna say for example from 2010 for example until uh, the current year and it's going to be today okay so if we save and refresh we can see copyright the copyright symbol from 2010 to 2015 Okay, now let's style our paragraph. I'm going to use a bootstrap class. It's uh, text muted. Okay, so the text looks a bit gray now. Okay, all right, so now we are going to add some styling to our uh, footer. So we're just going to add a style element at the top so let's style the footer class okay okay so just bear, bear in mind the footer class is our class it's not a bootstrap class we just define this uh, class you can name it anything you want Okay, so um, we're gonna uh, we want our footer to stick to the uh, bottom. So first of all, we're gonna give it a position um, absolute. Okay, and we're gonna set the um, bottom to uh, zero. Okay, so that it sticks to the uh, bottom. Okay, so if we save this and refresh, we can see that now it is sticking to the uh, bottom. All right. Let's also give it a uh, width of 100% and a uh, background color. Let's choose a gray color. Okay, let's see how this will look like. Okay, that looks fine. Let's add some height. Um, 
So let's set the height to 60 pixels, for example. Okay, it looks better now. Okay, so since we have set the position to uh, absolute, we're going to choose uh, which balance element is going to be um, relative. Um, we're going to set the um, HTML element to be um, relative. So let's uh, style the HTML element. And let's give it a position relative. Now if we refresh, Okay, so you can see that now the um, footer has gone up and is sticking um, to the uh, top here. So to avoid this, we're going to give our HTML element a min height okay, of 100%. And now we can see that the um, footer has gone back to the bottom. Okay, and also usually uh, we would add, add to the uh, body elements a margin uh, bottom, okay, um, just to keep some gap uh, in there. So let's uh, add some styling to the body and give it a margin bottom, for example, of 60 pixels. Okay. Okay, so that's how we uh, include uh, files using uh, PHP. Um, okay, so uh, in the uh, next uh, video, uh, we're going to uh, cover file handling.